what's going on? It's Kevin, East Cape Skiffs. I am on a lovely Vantage Tower with the customer. I love what we do here at the shop. We love who we build for. But today is another special day. Uh, this gentleman's name is Justin. About two and a half years ago, I met him here on a Saturday morning. First thing out of his mouth is, I love the Vantage. Second thing out of his mouth is, is I will own an East Cape. Two and a half years later, here we are. He's a young gentleman, worked really hard for this. And uh, all you guys out there in cyberspace, you should drool because pictures do not do this thing justice. As typical East Cape fashion, we're gonna start at the back. First of all, we have a white and blackout going on on the boat with a little bit of hint of polished. This actually matches his truck. It looks insane, you'll see pictures of it. Zook 140, uh, we all love this motor, including Justin. Then we have the V Marine push pull holder here, low profile, doesn't rattle, spins on and off. Power pole blade, this is a hot commodity. John and the crew at Power Pole, we love these guys. V Marine push pull holders going on it. Atlas jack plate, electric, self contained, all in one. We have the lean bar, this is for tarpon fishing. So when he's off the beach, and he lives over in uh, Apollo Beach, so you'll see this guy running around out in Bean Point, Egmont everywhere in Tampa Bay because he has the range and the ability with the Vantage. Then we have the stainless rub rail. We have the fully dipped and welded galvanized trailer. Then he has the uh, blackout package. It happens to be white. It's a urethane paint. Then moving forward because he actually likes to fish not just run around and cruise. We have a solid cushion. This is what he wanted. It snaps off so this becomes a hardcore back fishing deck. The most important thing and the tool that he wanted to have and when used properly is one of the best things that you can do. He wanted a tower. As you can see, Justin, go ahead and stand behind the wheel. This is actually custom made for him. The height, the width, the rod holders, everything you see is what he wanted. So you have the flush mount here. You have the jump seat right here. He has the cooler. Dry storage, wet storage going on right there. His rigging is nice and clean inside of here. And by the way, let's talk about that real quick. All this was done and rigged after it was bonded. We are one of the few companies, and I believe the only one that does this. And the reason why is I don't care how many access points you have in a console, but if you're rigging it away from the boat and after it's rigged, you glass it in, it is not the same. So I tell everybody out there, if we put it in, you can get it out. So with that being said, all the rigging is run here through the arms, all the batteries, the charger, everything fits nice and clean. He does have the flush mount. He has the Epson steering wheel. He also has tilt helm going on it. You can see how nice and clean that is. Go ahead and hop up there on the back. So when he's cruising, looking for some snug, you know, looking for some reds, this is the way to go. He's not one of those guys that burns the flats. He actually knows how to use this. And when I say a tool, you're running until you see some fish or you know you're getting close. You shut it down, you drift. Or if you're running really skinny water and you want to make sure you're not going to tear up the bottom, that's what the jack plate's for and that's what the tower's for. Moving farther forward, we do have some tunes when he's making those long runs. We do have the oversized casting platform. This has done the shape of the actual uh, hatch. We have two lean bars, two different styles. So if he wants to be in rougher water up front or in the back, he's got a little bit of side support. Again, custom measured for him. And we also have a lower one that's in the back. Then, we have the huge storage, the hatch and a hatch, trolling motor plug, because he's going to do a lot of big water fishing. And you can see right in there, that's where all his stuff will go. But this right here is awesome, guys. It keeps your, your connection. You don't, you're not going to arc your trolling motor uh, plug. You're not going to be replacing it in a year, two years, three years, like you typically have to do. Then, going to the bow, you have all this huge real estate. You have the eye pilot offset cleat again a tarpon fishing style i can't say enough about how awesome this boat is and how it runs i also can't say enough when it comes down to people like him so many boat companies want to judge you know they want to judge somebody and they want to say oh he's a player he's not a player we treat everybody the same i can't thank you enough for everything you did i can't thank you enough for your patience guys Justin Truce, Apollo Beach. This is a young gentleman that's worked his butt off. 
Look at it. We love it. Y'all take care. If you want more information, you know the drill. Check us out. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.